we are introduced to a man who has isolated himself in his house. For five years since junior high school, he did this to avoid bullying. One day, his phone shines brightly, and when he regains consciousness, he is greeted by a goddess. The goddess tells him that he has been chosen to be reincarnated. He will live in a world full of magic. Because of that, the goddess gives him cheats so that his life won't be difficult. The man agrees to be reincarnated. He wants to live a peaceful life, to relax all day without thinking about anything and live lazily, then suddenly fall asleep. When he wakes up in the other world, he realizes that he is in the body of a newborn baby. He still retains memories from his previous life. His father is a king of a kingdom, and his mother, known as the Lightning Princess, once defeated the Demon King. The baby has the mark of the king on his left chest. They are very proud of their child. After that, they want to measure the baby's magical energy. The king has high expectations because the child is the offspring of a lightning princess. A number appears on the magic measuring crystal, and they are shocked because the baby's magical. Energy is only level 2. Furthermore, the baby doesn't have any attributes and can only master defensive magic. Both parents are worried that their reputation will be ruined when the people find out about their child's existence. They decide to spread a rumor that the newborn Prince Reinhardt was actually born stillborn. The king orders his servants to throw Reinhardt deep into the forest. The goddess who reincarnated in panics when she sees this. She forgot that the magic energy measuring device in that world can only display up to two digits. Moreover, she forgot to add attributes to him. In fact, the goddess had given him a cheat so that his magical energy level was 1000. 2. Reinhardt is currently alone in the forest. He cannot move freely because he is still a baby. He wants to try magic since he was told earlier that he could use defensive magic. He imagines it and easily creates a cube-shaped shield. He can enlarge and change the color of the shield. It seems like he can create anything just by imagining it. For trying it, he realizes that his defensive magic can be used on himself. Reinhardt appears as if he is floating, even though there is a shield carrying him. Soon, a giant red fox ambushes Reinhardt. Luckily, his shield is sturdy enough to withstand the fox's bite. He creates many small shields to attack the fox. However, his attacks have little effect. Then, he comes up with the idea of lifting the trees around him with his shield. Finally, his attacks have an impact on the fox. Unfortunately, that was still not enough to defeat it. Reinhardt decided to fly the large trees along with the earth beneath them. When the fox saw this, it suddenly spoke and said that it wanted a surrender. Reinhardt thought that the voice was just his imagination. The fox pleaded once again to surrender. Reinhardt finally realized that the voice was coming from the fox. He stopped his attack. The fox then explained that it wanted to eat Reinhardt to restore its magical energy. It never expected that a baby could be this strong. Reinhardt wanted to say something, but he couldn't form coherent sentences because he was still a baby. He had the idea to create a shield that could transform his thoughts into words. He attached the shield to his throat, and indeed, he could now speak normally. Feeling that his name was too long and difficult to pronounce, he introduced himself as Hart. He explained that he was abandoned after birth because his magical energy was too low. The fox couldn't believe that he was discarded just like that. After all, the fox sensed magical energy within Hart that surpassed that of humans. The fox suspected that Hart was the reincarnation of the Demon King. Hart admitted this because he didn't want to be seen as a loser. Moreover, he used to be an unemployed shut-in. The fox immediately believed it. The fox offered itself to be killed because it had lost the fight. Hart felt uncomfortable with the idea of killing it. He forgave the fox as long as it wouldn't attack him again in the future. The fox vowed to keep that promise in the name of the Flame Fenrir race. Finding the name of the race cumbersome, Hart called the fox Flay. Hart asked for permission to leave now that their problem was resolved. However, Flay didn't want to say goodbye first. Hart had saved it and even given it a new name. And that happened, a contract was formed. Therefore, it was only fitting for a servant to dedicate itself to its master. While Flay was still talking, Hart suddenly felt weak and couldn't fly with a shield anymore. 
It seemed that this problem wouldn't be solved with magic alone. Deed Hart needed breast milk. For the sake of his master, Flay would do its best. It began to transform into a human. However, Flay still couldn't produce breast milk. It needed to go through the reproductive process first. They were still helpless and couldn't do anything. At that moment, Flay sensed someone approaching. Hart commanded Flay to check on the person, and Hart created a shield that allowed them to communicate privately over a distance. When asked, the man who came said that he wanted to pick up the baby behind Flay. Flay immediately refused. It didn't want to hand over Hart, who would just become its master. However, the man said that the baby was his relative. He knew that the baby was abandoned for a reason, so he came to save it. Furthermore, Hart looked hungry. The man had brought breast milk in a bag for the baby. Hart asked Flay to retrieve the breast milk. However, Flay insisted on maintaining its dignity by taking care of Hart alone. The man revealed that he couldn't bear to see a young child in distress. When his ex-wife was pregnant, their baby didn't cry when it was born. That's why he wanted Hart to continue living after birth. The man then persuaded Flay with a deal. If Flay wanted Hart to be its master, Flay had to work as the man's servant. After hearing the story and agreement from the man, Flay finally agreed. Then, the man destroyed Hart's baby basket and replaced the cloth that Hart was wrapped. This was done to create camouflage. Nine years have passed, and now Hart is accustomed to living with his new family. The man who picked him up turned out to be a Count Maid Gordo. Gordo has a daughter from his new wife. Her name is Charlotte, commonly known as Char, a young blonde girl. It seems that Char is not very fond of interacting with Hart. On the other hand, Char seems to be very fond of Flay. However, Flay still prioritizes Hart as its servant. In fact, Flay will only play with Char if ordered by Hart first. While the two of them play, Hart watches from a distance. Then, his stepmother, Natalia, approaches him. She knows that Hart is thinking about his relationship with Char. However, according to Natalia, Char avoids Hart because she doesn't know how to behave around someone of the opposite sex who is the same age. That's why Char can be very close to Flay, who is the same gender. Natalia suggests that Hart do something to make Char happy. Perhaps Char's perception will change if Hart shows his role as an older brother. Like being asked to do so, Hart was just an unemployed person with communication problems. He felt incapable of undertaking such a difficult task. Afterward, Hart was contemplating his life plan while lying on the bed. Actually, Hart wanted to live independently. However, Flay would surely continue to follow him. Plus, Char might grow to hate him even more. On the other hand, if he continued to live in this residence, Hart would have to do many things. By the way, Hart can now create clones of himself using defensive magic. During these nine years, he has conducted extensive research on defensive magic. Unfortunately, his clones still cannot speak or move. While still pondering his life issues, Gordo knocks on his door. He invites Hart to teach him sword techniques. Since Hart's magic level is very low, Gordo wants to develop Hart skills in other areas. They begin training with a wooden sword. In his lifetime, Gordo was known as the Earth Crusher Hammer, a formidable warrior. Since Hart didn't want to feel pain, he covered his body with defensive magic. Hart immediately leaps and swings his sword. Although Gordo can dodge it, he seems surprised by the attack. Moreover, Hart's wooden sword breaks when it touches the ground. Now it's Gordo's turn to attack. As the sword is about to hit him, Hart manages to dodge perfectly by leaping high into the air. In fact, that attack could only be avoided if someone had magic energy at level 30 or higher. Since then, Hart has always been amazed by his abilities. In the past, he even created his own magic level measuring crystal that could measure up to three digits. He suspected that maybe his magic level reached three digits, but when measured, the result remained the same, 002. Hart immediately gave up when he saw the result. Besides, it was said that the highest magic level in human history was 77. So, Hart felt it was pointless to test it to four digits. In his opinion, the cheat he received from the goddess was the ability to use defensive magic with high efficiency. Meanwhile, Char watches Hart sword training from a distance. 
In the evening, Gordo tells Natalia about the earlier incident. Char is sleeping on her mother's lap. According to Gordo's opinion, Hart is a newly awakened demon race. Based on the family's secret information, someone in the past had a connection with creatures from the demon race. There is a possibility that Hart was born with those characteristics. It is true that Hart doesn't have horns and a tail, but the royal symbol he possesses remains a mystery. In fact, even play who is a demon race idolizes Hart. However, Natalia cannot bear to think of Hart as a demon race. Gordo also still considers Hart as a human. He wants to bring happiness to their children. Meanwhile, Flea has been listening to their conversation. It also objects to the idea that its older sibling is a demon race. 